EK Java tutorials. In this video tutorial, I will show you how to write a SQL query to increase salary by 20% for all employees in department number 10 and 20. Yeah. So in this demo, I'm going to use a table is called employee. So here I'm, I have an employee table and here you can see the data. So let me sort data uh, by department number. So just you have to click twice on this column. And here you can see uh, my intention is to increase uh, salary for all employees who belongs to the de either department number 10 or 20 by 20%. So what I'll do, I'll take a screenshot of this guy and once we will update salary by 20% then I'll compare with the previous salary and we'll verify whether uh, our expected result is correct or not. So here uh, I'm going to write a SQL query, basically update query to uh, to increase the salary of all the employ employees belongs to department either 10 or 20 by 20%. So update then you have to write the table name right then of course to update any column value we have to use the keyword is called set set and which column we want to update that column name sal and here sal equals to i'm going to use cash right so you might have heard about the cash case and in case i'm going to specify the dept number right DEPT number that's nothing but the department number if you look in this column name right DEPT number so that column I'm going to use in case right and within the case you can have a lot of when wh when when and here if department number is 10 right then I would like to perform some kind of calculation that is nothing but sal plus bracket sal into 0.2 right means just we are increasing the current salary by 20 percent right for department 10 and if department number 20 so again we have to write when condition for department number 20 we need to increase salary by 20 percent for department number if uh, employee belongs to the department number 20 as well right then we will write else condition else condition just we will return the salary whatever the current salary that's it we don't want to uh, give any increment for, for other department right and finally we need to end this case right so that's what we have a keyword is called and right and then I'm going to write a where clause where you have to specify DEPT number in 10 comma 20 and that's it almost we have done uh, so here should not be semicolon right now I'm going to just format this SQL query by pressing Ctrl F7. Now this is the query. So pretty straightforward. Right? Update employee set. Just I would like to update the salary column. So sal. And here we have a cases. Cases starts here and ending over here. And case is going to decide based on the department number. If department when department were 10, then we would like to increase current salary by 20%. If department number is 20, then increase salary by 20%. Else return the salary as it is right and this case is ending over here and where clause we need to pass the, all the departments for that we want to increase the salary now let me run this query and here is the result saying the seven rows updated if i go to the employee table and if i refresh then you'll see uh, all the all the employees belongs to the department either 10 or 20 salary has been incremented let's verify for a few employees so uh, let's say I would like to verify for the one employee whose name is Cam, right? Uh, whose earlier salary was 2050. Now incremental salary 2460. Two, so let me open the calculator. And earlier salary was 2050. Now uh, updated salary would be 2050 plus 2050 into 0.2. So that comes. 2460 and that is the update 2640 for next employees earlier salary was 5100 right so let me calculate for them so 5100 plus uh, 5100 multiplied by 0.2 and 
new cell new updated salary would be 6120 and that's what is here so if you look into the number of employee who belongs to the either department number 10 or 20 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 uh, and that's what seven records uh, are updated over here right so that's all i wanted to show you in this video tutorial guys guys big thank you for watching this video and see you there in the next video tutorial